sounds on. Uh, let's see. Did Gretchen go out today? Yes, she did. Um, I'm just trying to get her used to going into the car. That's a big thing for her. My plan is um, to try and take her home a few nights a week with me because I have an hour drive total. So half hour in the morning, half hour at night. Um, and just to give her a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time just to try and push her along a little bit more. Um, I brought her out with Noel and Magnus and they accepted her, her grandmother and her uncle. So <laughs> it worked really well. Hopefully um, she'll come along quickly. She's, she's like a ton of bricks. She just drops and gets really nervous, um, doesn't want to move. Second you go near the um, car, she thinks you're going towards the car. She drops to the ground, and you, it's not pretty. So and she's heavy. <laughs> so um, it's fun. Never a dull moment. Um, has Carlene ever appeared on TV with a service dog? We've been on the news. Does that count? <laughs> so I would think so. Yes, she has. Um, Let's see, what else, what else, what else? Um, what did I do today? Today, I did a lot of puppies, um, a mixture of calories, minions, and pokies, and some of the adult dogs. Um, all the pokies got out today, and Asher, and Amelia, and Kringle, and Zeppelin, and um, Reese, and Grumman all got out, and then Leslie, and Gronk, and Clark, and not Merle yet. Um, we're waiting for her tail to get a little bit better. We don't want to spray uh, people in public with blood. So <laughs> that's probably not a good idea. How about idea. Gretchen? Uh, yeah, I already talked about Gretchen. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> they asked me if you've ever been on TV. I said you were on the news. <laughs> um, let's see. What else can I tell you? Um... Has Magnus started his Leave It training? Thank you, Sarah, for bringing that up. Um, yes, he has. Magnus started his Leave It training yesterday. Um, we go into the chicken coop, and we leave it. And he doesn't look at the birds. He doesn't think about the birds. Um, that's something we've been working on with him for a while, actually. He's always had a thing for the guinea hens. Um, he watches them in the window of laundry, and... Normally when he gets out and he tries to go near them and run at them, I can stop him because he's, he's close to me. And yesterday we were coming out of the barn and he got ahead of me and he was running and it looked like he was running towards Ryan. <laughs> and, that's, and Ryan was going, Magnus! And so I was like, oh, he's just going to see Ryan. And at the last second I was like, no, he's not. And he veered off and he, he wouldn't have got the bird if it didn't. The chicken coop door was open, so... The way the chicken coop doors is the birds can go in, but the dogs can if it was bungeed, but it wasn't bungeed. So the bird ran in, and then Magnus just went right cornered the bird. I mean, he would he's never caught him before, but because it was such a small space. Um, he may need an e-collar. Yeah, we. I thought about doing that before. Uh, last time when he was into the guinea hens, I put all the guinea hens in the lawn. This is before they could fly when they were babies. <laughs> I put them all in laundry field. And I put him on a Coranda and a downstay, and I explained to him in an aggressive way that we don't look at the birds. And so that worked, but he clearly, yesterday, it was just a matter of he was, he was too far into it, and I couldn't, I couldn't stop it. So. He didn't learn. And he, yeah, so he didn't He will learn, learn with an e-collar. Yeah, he will. Um, so dancer and prancer. And there's really not an awful lot that's going to substitute for it. Yeah. Did Vu get out? Um, not today. No, she ran around a lot. Um in her field and she got out yesterday with Jackie and Amy but I did not make it to her today. How did, how did you make out with Gretchen? Or who? Oh, Ava? Yeah. Ava and Cindy did really well today. Um, we went to Costco so they could buy dog beds for her. Um, they're the cheapest ones around so they got dog beds for her and we went over. Um, she had a few questions for me. Simple questions like she wants her to sit closer to her when she's in her chair. They took her to a restaurant, and she said, how do I get her to not sprawl out on the floor? And Steve and I call that the dolphin pose, like when the dog's completely flat on the ground. So um, Steve and I take a lot of time to, every time they flop into the, like kind of what Bailey's doing, but like more with like all the legs spread out, we, we correct them and we get them to sit up sternal 
and they can rest their head this way, but we never fully let them flop over. So I just showed her how to do that, and then she was amazed that Ava listened and didn't. Every time Ava would start to, she just, and then the dog would <laughs> sit up a little bit. So um, she did great. They took her to a restaurant, um, had a great time with her. So. Good. The other thing to do with And her poops flop. are solid. Huh? Her poops are oh, solid. Good, poopies. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Um, the other thing to do with restaurants is to pull a chair out. I told her that. The yeah. Block, yeah. yeah. And if they don't have regular, if it's crowded, they always have a high chair somewhere. Mm -hmm. That is true. That's one of those little gems, like the fact that the meat counter at Costco has paper towels. Yeah. Uh, can a dog be harmed using an e-collar? We've used an e-collar a couple of times. Uh, we had to use one on Mr. Oliver once. We used Kitty's dog as bait. And I remember I walked him up the road and you sat there with the button and waited till his mouth was right at the right moment and then we'd pop him. And he never went after dogs for a while. <laughs> it does work. It's all about timing, too. You, I wouldn't, you can't just sit there and just... No, you just poke it once. So. That's all you need. You did it with a Doberman in trash, right? I did it with a Doberman and a cat. And a cat, yeah. That Dover been up and over backwards. He he was terrified of cats after that. Yeah, he thought you kind of did it like the cat shot. The cat it. caused it. Yeah. yeah, so it's all about timing with that. Um, did you see the face pictures of Magnus? I want my mommy. Yeah, I did. I saw those. That was yeah. cute. Yep. Yeah. Um, what else can I talk to you about? Um, Wait, still waiting on the dog food delivery. <laughs> I don't know. We had the parking lot all cleared open, but nobody's showed up, so. I hope they... Was it today, or was it any... Could it be a... a I lost track of it. Oh, all right. Well, whatever. I lost track. We'll see it when we see it. Oh, you're welcome on the poop report. <laughs> yeah, no, Ava's doing really, really well, so um, we're just going to keep pushing her and Cindy, and they're not... Um, scheduled to come back so this will be a good stretch of time for them to work together so we have somebody coming friday mm -hmm. yeah i got all your emails got that. So. yes we do i mean i'm loving the weather yes I'm loving loving it mm -hmm. i um dave and i spent the last 40 minutes locking all the dogs out in the fields yeah. and we got one back completely covered in mud oh. and Somebody asked him, I think it was Ryan, what are you going to do with that dog? I was like, I'm going to put it in the kennel. It's going to be dry. and It'll chip off tomorrow. Vacuum <laughs> uh, up really easy. Yeah, she, um, they're all, Kringle. all the dogs, yeah, it's Kringle. All the dogs are loving this weather. Um, you can lock them out, really give the kennels inside a good cleaning. They all love to lay in the sun. Hopefully we'll get another nice day and the pond will completely melt. Right now there's still some ice on it. Grace didn't seem sad about her guinea hen. Ryan, you were the one that told her. Did she seem sad? She wasn't yeah. happy. Yeah. She, she wasn't, wasn't happy with Magnus, but she yeah. wasn't Yeah, she wasn't terribly <laughs> upset. Um, are there any matches coming up? Yeah, we got a few um, people lined up. It all depends on um, if the dogs accept the people, so we'll keep you posted on that. All in the hands of the dogs now. Um, is the dog still coming... Is the dog still coming to meet the veteran? What dog? <laughs> I don't know. Is the veteran still coming to meet the dog? Maybe a veteran meeting a dog? I, yeah. didn't, I didn't talk to his keeper today. We don't know. <laughs> Unless uh, um, Steve is inclined to know that because a lot of times the veterans get a hold of him, not me. Yeah. Is that the dog that's coming from the outside? The train or something like that? Wasn't there a dog coming in? I don't know. Oh, that was a while ago. I'm not uh, sure what happened to that one. A bunch one. of people. Yeah. Uh, did I get Gretchen out for training? I'm getting Gretchen out for car rides. That's <laughs> um, that's the baby steps to this whole operation. She needs to learn to get into the car willingly. Uh, she puts on the brakes when we approach the car, and she's heavy and chunky. And so once we get her there, she just locks up, and I have to scoop her. But... Um, once she's in the car, she's very panty, very shaky. She's a lot of. She just needs time. So we go for a little short ride. Somebody suggested that we take these ones that are fussy in the car in the golf cart. You could do that, I guess. I, yeah, that never I mean, occurred to me, but that's probably not a bad idea. Yeah, I have another dog, Pilot. Um, she's that. come a long way with me in the car, anyways. I mean, I, but I. Everybody says, "Oh, she's she's terrible. She's vomiting. She's this. She's that. She's dripping." So. What I do is I get two or three frozen Kongs, 
and I put her in the back and I give her the Kong. She willingly gets in for me and I drive about 20 miles an hour to Georgetown and I go the back way, I turn down the road and anytime somebody comes up behind me, I pull over and I just, I go super slow and she gets up, I've had her wag her tail, she fell asleep in the car with me, I haven't had any vomiting, so I don't know if it's a matter of the people who are driving, maybe they're jerking or I, I put the window, I crack them, I listen to 99.5, <laughs> it's very, we're very relaxed. <laughs> So I don't know. We're, I think I'm making it. I think I'm making a lot of progress with her. Anyway, she was pretty bad. People were talking about we should give her Dramamine and all no, this. No, I, no, no, no. No. I just said you don't do shortcuts. Drive slowly <laughs> <laughs> and don't push it too much. Um, panting is. I think. I mean, yeah. I mean, panting is kind of like. It depends on the situation. If you just have a dog that's just sitting there, panting can mean like pain wise. You can take it that way. It depends on the situation. With a dog that refuses to get in the car and you put them in the car and then they're panting and shaking and freaking out then i would say that's a little bit of anxiety <laughs> but it all um, depends bentley is now panting yeah almost all the time when we leave the property mm. it's just nerves yeah unsure um who at stp aka crazy acres knows how to fold the donkey Foaling, how to foaling of the donkey. Um, to, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who is yeah. able to help with the knowledge of the birth? I mean, every birth we've had with the equines, I've come in and it's just been there. So I don't know if that's, best that's help the way is, you help with most of Best them. help is no help. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's, they're, they're usually no problem. Yeah. Knock on wood. <laughs> um, they are wild animals. Yeah. So are horses. But you could baby them. Yeah. Anyways, other than that, you had your tree guy come today. Tree guy came, man. Yep. Yeah, your came. gas guys approved of your lines. Ryan, what time did they say Cranny's was going to come they through? They said they couldn't give a time sometime tomorrow. Sometime tomorrow, Cranny's going to try and fill some of that hole. hole. Yep. Oh, that's, that's a step good. in the right direction. We are making progress. The, the tree guy is, is talking me. The, the new parking lot. Yeah. And he said he probably could do it in half a day and then maybe come back and trim it up or something. He's talking about grinding stumps. As opposed to pulling them up. Oh, like grinding them down to nothing? Yeah, because I don't know where nothing's going to be. You know what I mean? Because yeah. not, we want to level that. And you don't know if you're also yeah. going to come up. Usually when they do it, it's a couple inches below the ground. Oh. I know. I'm, we don't know. We that's don't. enough. Until we try and flatten it out. It all depends on how much you're going to dig. Right. How about that? Right. Well, that's why I'm wondering if they can't pull them up. I, I had that discussion. Oh. They can pull them. Yeah, overnight. My overnight with Dryer uh, went well. He uh, Walter had diarrhea last night, so every three hours, Dryer and I got up and followed Walter outside. Um, and Dryer would pee, and Walter would poop, and then he did well. Come right back in. He he slept next to Magnus all night. Um, he was great. He he's a great dog. He's one of my better students. So um, he's going to be a great dog when he's older. Um. You are to be commended on the handling of all these pups that show up, Rowan. Thanks. Uh, anyways, oh, it's 503. It's all mine, huh? Do you have your mail? I do. I don't. I, I have only one envelope, and it's the one envelope I absolutely love. Guess who it's from? McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than that. Oh, <laughs> Memsic. Oh, nice. <laughs> the chicken break. Chicken breaks. The chicken break check is here. People All right. are holding out on us for the meal. Huh? Hmm? People are holding out on us for the meal. Huh? Mm. Yeah. You need to do something to usually spark the fire. Yours, anyway. Mm -hmm. well, it was, yeah. Maybe you should get people to send you postcards from where they live. Well, let's can, think about this. Then we could decorate a whole wall with postcards. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> you started. <laughs> You're going to put them up there. No, yeah, I sure. am getting tweets. I don't tweet. I don't understand that. Don't ask I don't me. tweet. I had 45 tweets. Mm -mm. I don't, I don't Steve, know who they are. Steve knows how to tweet. Steve's a tweeter. I should read. I should read. Yeah, tweet, Steve tweets. Oh. <laughs> all about baseball, but yeah, he oh, does. Right. Yeah. Huh. He's a tweeter. <laughs> these are all about the George and Bella video. Oh, yeah. Yep. People are beginning to see that, and they're up. Katie said they were up to 2.5 million in 18 hours. I don't know how uh, to know tell how many views they have. I don't know how have. she knew that. I don't, I don't know either. How many applicants do you have waiting for service dogs? I don't know. I know it's about that many. There you go. That's but uh, the problem is those are not all viable. 
they're not all ones that I think we can help. Mm -hmm. We have to sort those down to the ones we can help. Mm -hmm. um, are you going to keep the mini pony? Say no. I don't think we are. Not if I have my way. I hate mini um, I I don't hate mini pony. <laughs> it's, not, it's, 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 mini not, pony. it's not a mini. It's not a mini horse either. It is a small pony. Yeah. I just I the experience that I've had with mini horses and mini ponies is that they can kick and flip and go in all different directions and I, that's why I like donkeys because they stand still so <laughs> donkeys, are, donkeys are nice yeah even that little guy I know they've had a traumatic experience but um, there's somebody out there handing carrots and the little mini pony or whatever it is was up at the fence with its butt to the lady never came down just sat up there and stared off into the <laughs> the, the mini pony is, yeah. is slightly fat too so yeah. it's come out of somebody's pet deal yeah but nobody ever took care of it as far as the the main yeah. It's just it's still hairy. Mm -hmm. Anyways. We're going to get the donkey's baths tomorrow. Yeah. What? That's uh, what the, the vet the was here. Parent. Who? The vet. Yeah. Was named Brian, and he says that they have lice really bad. So we have shampoo, dog and cat shampoo he gave us that we have to give both the donkeys a bath okay. once a week. Yeah. Because he says that all the other animals can get it. The other donkeys and stuff can get it. So that's... Donkey Glad washing. That over. That's right. Donkey wash baths donkey on Sundays. Washing. We'll have a donkey wash. We bird. should clean them anyways. The birds yeah. are all full of zoo. Yeah. I mean, they're around, you know? Yeah. But they are thin, those donkeys. Yeah, we've been... It's tough them. to give a donkey a bath because the hair is so damn long and things, but... Yeah. yeah. We have warm water, so go at it, guys. Yeah. yeah he told us to put the, the soap on, leave it 15 minutes, and then rinse it off. We'll let him run around the fields. And yeah, he gave him a shot. A shot today that's supposed to help also with the lice. That's good. It must be ivermectin. Yeah. Uh, ivermectin is funny stuff. All right. Well, views of your Bell and George are, are uh, 6 million four hundred nineteen thousand. Why can't everybody just send us $1? One dollar. One dollar. Really? <laughs> just one dollar. All those six million people. Mm -hmm. Hey, yoy, yoy. Anyways, all right, guys. You're on your own. Okay. Have a good night. Yep. How long, how long do you want me to wait for this truck? How do we know they're coming today? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who to call. Well, they've come during mail call before. <clears throat> huh? They've come during mail call before. Or they would been. come between three and yeah. four. I was here. I, I would week. think. I would think they, the guy driving the truck gets off at something like five o'clock. Every time I've been here, they've come between 2 and 3. And we've been done by 3, 3.30, yeah. putting all the stuff up. Well, why don't you hang out for another half hour? Follow me. Have another muffin. <laughs> yeah. Have another muffin. Megan, did you take the muffin? What's this for? What's the video. What's the video? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Two dollar ups. Oof. Two dollar ups. Oof, 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 oof. Wow, the views of the Bell and George. How did you find that out? That's a Carolyn White in Canada. I don't know how to look it up. I wish I did. A lot of times it says oh, it right on the video itself. I know, but it, it doesn't always. Hmm. Oh, boys, here we go. Now wait a minute. What I did I, I I don't usually have to do that. I I don't I don't understand anything. I don't understand anything. I went and bought a new computer. It, we don't have any mail. We have one one piece of mail to open. I went and bought a new computer because I got so mad at this one. I thought, well, I get myself a laptop, and then I can operate, you know. But I wasn't going to do anything online with it except, except the Daily Doggy and stuff. And you know, I wasn't going to download anything, keep it nice and pure. And so I tried to set it up. Well, now I don't know what I'm setting up. To me, I bought a computer. Mm -hmm. So therefore, if they're asking me to set up a password and all that stuff, it is to. The computer that I'm working on. So I put in my animal episodes and my password mm -hmm. that I'm now using all the time. <laughs> I don't like remember it. 
And very soon they asked me for another one, for some other deal. And then they came up with, I needed a pin number. This is a brand new machine. Huh. And I had to come up with a pin number. So I pinned a number that I can remember usually. And now I've gotten to the point on something that I can't remember what my email address is because I use animal episodes. That's the one everybody should use. But I also have at least three others. I don't know where they came from. I don't know who gave them to me. I don't know anything about them. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm going along on this setting this thing up, it asks for a second email. Well, I, 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 I put in my animal app saying I really didn't want a second email. And they say, no, I can't have that. That's already been used. Well, I know it's been used. It's mine. I, but I don't want a second one because I get so mixed up. You know? I don't, I don't, I don't remember to go look at the others. I, and I can only get at one of the others. I, I can't even figure out how you, how you find it wherever it lives. You know? Mm -hmm. so I'm having a bad time already, and it's a brand new computer. Yeah. So I, it just, I think they're beyond me. I'd be better off with an adding machine or something. I don't know. Actually, I've got problems with the adding machine, but let's not talk about that part. Okay. How often does Purina deliver food? Every couple months. And they deliver a lot of it, and which we are very, very thankful. Where's my basket here? Don't scare me like that. What? I couldn't find the membership check. Oh. <laughs> if somebody put the other mail on top of it, I will just open this thing ceremoniously so everybody can see it. $18,283.50. You want to look at that? Nice. Want to go hold it up in front of the, <laughs> since we've got nothing else to do? And it is, by the time you add our quick picks, it's 20000 But the rest of these, Macy's. Thank you, everybody. You know, put that in the bank. Where's the bank? What did you do with the bank? Make sure you get that one in the right place. This is, these are, there's nothing here. Oh, see, now here we go. Now this thing's buzzing at me. I don't know why. Did you have the wrong phone yesterday? Is that the impression I got? I was watching mail call and you looked like you had, you said you had the I wrong had, phone. I did, it, it was somebody. Somebody else's phone. <clears throat> the phone the phone was saying your mom said we have to do such and such and I'm trying to figure out whose mom was what there's only one mom around here usually it's me right so I couldn't figure out it took me a while to figure out I had a you know it, I had a rough day yesterday I think it wasn't quite so bad <laughs> well, this is a piece of junk I think how the uh, day with the accountants go I, I really have very little to do with them. I have a few official. I have a few official things like that. I have to swear that I'm not under indictment for anything, mm -hmm. which I don't think I am. Mm -hmm. No tanning booth. No no tanning booth. Mm -hmm. No stuff like that. That's free. <laughs> we have a box. A box. We do the box. Publisher's Clearinghouse. I'm throwing away $7,000 a week. So be it. Here, you got this one. It'll work. And here's your $2 up for that thing. There we go. Okay. It's nice out today. Yeah. I mean, it was nice, nice. It's actually almost a little too much too quick. <laughs> almost. Who we got? Stacy. Stacy. From Dallas. I'm um, from Big D. I bet people from Dallas are tired of people saying that. Oh. Oh, my. That's upside down. Try it the other way. There we go. You need our spare glasses just lying around. I've got spare glasses. Thanks to Home Shopping Network who sells these in bulk, my aging eyes, 
These are no longer work for me. I just couldn't bear to throw them away. That's what happens. You know, you, you get these things, then you don't want well, I lost it. Bank. <laughs> Bank. Um, I didn't expect any more. Yeah, well, they're perfectly good glasses, and you, you don't expect to... You don't, you don't expect to use them again because you've outgrown them and you, and you can't throw them away. So I, that's why I know people have them. So those are good. And you also have all those those things from the motels and hotels. A few dollars for the fun fun. Also threw in a bunch of cases, which are also glass cleaners. Throw those away if you don't need or want them. Okay, who is it? Stacy, that's right. Stacy from Texas. Here you go. You can have that part. Oh, we got them. We got them now. Look, look at that. Look at that. Perfect. Wow. Perfect. Wow. Just a few. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you. Put them in the box. For the and then put them up on the. These are glasses for Stacy. We don't. I don't know why we need glasses, but heaven knows, don't throw them out. We might need to think of something to do. Give me grace. We'll give, <laughs> give those to grace. See you the next class. Wonderful. <laughs> you know, I hate to go saving things, but you know, this, this stuff is, is the right size bubble for trying to ship, trying to ship poker chips. Mm -hmm. You don't suppose you can just kind of go like that for you? Well, I'll hold that while you give me the box. Give me the next box, and then you can go back to this. There you go. Okay. And this is from Phyllis and family from Fort Worth, Texas. A lot of Texans, Texans today. What do we got? That's what we got. I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. That's about true. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is Ryan out there? Yes. Okay. Hi, Grace. Okay, Games of the week, Monday, <laughs> Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, day, Thursday, day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Huh, okay. Lots of Pooh Pickers and Pooh Picker kits. Proud supporter of Service Dog Project and Explore.org. Keep up the wonderful work of training dames to be service dogs. Phyllis, Fort Worth. That's from Phyllis in Fort Worth. And Pooh Picking kits. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Mine, the ones in my car are again getting a little shabby. These would be very good. Okay. Okay, they're all yours. Now what do we do? Ouch. Well, I can hold up the board. Since you have to hold there. up the board. Hey, Bailey. The 19th of the month is coming around again. Oh. If anyone needs flyers, please get a hold of Tina. It's a rare thing, I get so little mail. Do I give the pallets back to Purina that the food comes on? No, we don't. Because we don't get it unpacked while they're here. I mean, they are delivered on pallets. No, you, you get pallets, and we have pallets. And Pam is thinking of making some pallet furniture. Oh, yeah. Which apparently is done nowadays, uh, for which we have to get some kind of planer. I think you should plane that stuff before you use it. Yeah. And they're not, that's not expensive. I could easily pick one up. I'll find one. I don't Remember think... um, the old show with Norm Abrams doing woodworking on PBS? Uh, PBS? Yankee no. Workshop. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he did a show where he took pallets and he made furniture. Beautiful furniture out of it. Norma, Norman? Norm Abrams. Abrams? Yeah, Abrams. Oh, okay. Not Norm... sure what he's doing now. He's Norm doing Nathan was with, with Middleton. Yep. He was he was in video or TV or something. At any rate, I should look into that. 
because we got a lot of palace. Now that now that spring has come right. here today, we think it's what sixty side, sixty degrees out there. It's up there. I I, I I put on my coat to go outside. I got outside. I thought, wait a minute. I took the coat off. <laughs> Great. Even down by the water, it was warm. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was. It was just plain nice day outside today. That's okay. it. We're done. Um, That's it. We're done. The temperature starts falling again. What? We're, that we're done for the warm temperature. It's oh. going to start dropping. Go Bailey. She's moving great today. She's yep. been feeling fine. Good Bailey. Good girl. Marilee looks good. Good girl. Oh, I, I think having a second email is for sending passwords and secure information if your first email goes crazy or disappears. Honest guess that my experiences with things like Gmail. I think I'm dealing with Windows 10. Mm. The views of the new Bella and George video is six million. Six and a half million. Um, I don't know how they're collecting that information because I'd love to be able to look that up all the time. Okay? And I don't know what we're having for dinner. I don't think we're having anything. Leftover stew from last day. <clears throat> I think. I don't know. Ah, there's a lot of leftovers in the icebox. I know that. Okay, bye everybody. Bye.